NFT NYC week is kicking off this week and joining us now to discuss that and more is Next Cypher Productions founder and Block co-founder Jeff Gossick. Uh, Jeff, it's great to have you. Thanks for having me on. You know, I was uh, there last time, uh, last year for N NFT NYC week and there's just like a lot of stuff happening at the same time and it was kind of difficult to see through that and understand like what's really going on. Uh, so I want to go back to that time, back in August 2022, you launched Next Cypher Productions, an entertainment company that utilizes Web3 tech to produce sci-fi entertainment. Now you're kicking off an NFT community platform. What's really going on? Tell us about all of that. Yeah, so next, thanks for having me again. Next Cypher Productions is a Web3 media studio. We focus on uh, creating long form content, uh, formerly known as TV shows, that uh, are going to uh, entertain in uh, the sci fi genre. I, uh, you know, obviously coming up from uh, crypto, coming up from Linux, uh, a lot of the developers around me, uh, the NASA scientists that I hung out with as a kid, they were all science fiction fans, and so all the developers that I knew around me and I as well were inspired by science fiction. And so this was really about uh, giving back to the community, giving back, creating, uh, talking about, uh, you know, the future is really interesting and positive, and telling stories that are positive about the future is uh, also really compelling. And Web3 was that final piece. Web3 was that piece that really connected engagement, monetization, crypto, and uh, the media platform that we're uh, about to talk about. Wait, 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 wait. What did you say about NASA? Somebody you grew up with, what was that? Uh, yeah, when uh, I was growing up, uh, my father often took me to uh, space shuttle launches in uh, Cape Canaveral, Florida. So I, I grew up a space nerd and uh, would uh, hang out with NASA, literal NASA rocket scientists. And uh, every one of them, they loved Arthur C. Clarke and Isaac Asimov and all of these science fiction authors. And uh, then they'd go and uh, in their day jobs, build rockets and crunch, uh, you know, the heaviest of math algorithms and so that uh, that's always been an inspiration for me and uh, I think you see not only for myself personally but all across crypto a lot of this is inspired by science fiction so are you basically all in on nfts now is it fair to say that I mean nfts has been a huge roller coaster right I mean there was like so much hype and then it went down and then it's hyped again and i think it's probably fair to say that nft and what i see i'm hearing less hype about it this year than last year just because of market cycles and i guess so yeah are you all all in on nfts right now and like if so why I think it's, uh, you know, I call the market pleasantly down to earth. I'm happy that all the hype has, uh, well, not all the hype, but a lot of the hype has burned off. And uh, so uh, selfishly, that means that uh, we can highlight uh, projects like Next Cypher and our Next Cypher Multipass. Uh, as something that is real, that fans can engage with, and is going to be a market that attracts people's attention. There was just so much noise last year that uh, it reminded me, again, I've been in crypto for uh, over 12 years. And so uh, the NFT cycle was the fourth or fifth cycle that I've seen from the, the Bitcoin copycat cycle, the ICO cycle, the DeFi summer, and now uh, the NFT summer. Uh, as well. So uh, the hype uh, comes, it goes, and as that uh, water washes out to sea, you, what is left are the higher quality projects. Yeah, that makes sense. So another question just about the NFT market in general is what do you think about the whole blur phenomenon, right? I mean, they're a relatively new player, a little bit controversial, clearly shaking up the market. What's your take? Oh, I think it's fantastic. I'm a big believer in Adam Smith, free markets, free market competition. And that always uh, forces the other competitors in the market to improve, to get better. You saw OpenSea immediately respond once uh, Blur and another competing project, PseudoSwap, came out. And that's the ultimately users benefit. So at the end of the day, if uh, NFT consumers, our audience, are getting a 
better experience or a lower trading price or lower fees, uh, that's good for them and that's good for us. So I see it as a positive. So, of course, you said you were involved in crypto for the past 12 years, which would uh, have made it in the early uh, paleolithic stages of, of uh, Bitcoin. What do you think of or ordinals? Now, do you think that that's something, uh, look, it's NFTs, it's Bitcoin. Does it work? Is it something that you like? Is it something you hate? If you hate it, why do you hate it? Why are you upsetting so many people? What's going on? Yeah, the, the gray hair on my chin is I've uh, been in Bitcoin since the dollar parity party when it hit $1 to uh, today and it uh, is hitting 30000 and it's been an amazing journey. Uh, Bitcoin ordinals, I think, are uh, really, uh, it, it takes me back. Uh, you know, 2010, 2011, 2012, the Bitcoin narrative was uh, the altcoins will innovate and then Bitcoin will pull in that uh, innovation. And so ultimately, I think that's exactly what happened here is uh, innovation happened elsewhere. There were trials, tribulations, uh, successes, failures, and then uh, Bitcoin learns from that success. So you, you talked about your time, uh, you know, not with NASA, but around NASA as, and watching these math algorithms take place. Uh, you spent five years as a Bitcoin core developer and 10 years at the open source giant Red Hat. Uh, you have history, clearly. So what's your take on the New York Times' article, which was titled The Real World Cost of the Digital Race for Bitcoin? Uh, well... As I've tweeted, I think the New York Times article is just another salvo in the uh, current regulatory dynamic that's uh, going on in Washington, D.C. Uh, all of this is ultimately uh, fallout from uh, regulators were asleep and then FTX happened and now regulators are waking up and they're angry. And uh, this is uh, just, uh, you know, one, uh, one salvo or missive coming out of that uh, kind of uh, Elizabeth Warren anti-crypto army. All right. Okay. Uh, well, just to clarify, the New York Times is not a regulator. Uh, but thank you. <laughs> we appreciate that uh, a lot. Uh, that was uh, Next Cypher Productions founder uh, and Block co-founder Jeff Kasich. Jeff, great to have you.